everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a while. This is Bark Farming and I'm Matty, and today we are back on the grass. Um, today I am in the 6400 John Deere. Dad is in the other 6400 with the loader on, and he's butt breaking. On the front of the forager, because we use a trail forager, it's a class Jaguar 61. Uh, on the front of that we have a Herleman Sigma, I think that's pronounced right, and that's, if I'm right, it's about 120 horsepower, um, so it's plenty to pull the Forager at a, at a decent speed for us. Um, at the minute it is a fairly long car, um, especially in the six falls, because we haven't, we haven't got exactly high speed it gets us there but it's not as fast as your modern day tractors but they are reliable so it's all good Yeah, 
and also press the thumbs up button because it all helps out an awful lot. So yeah, if you did that, they appreciate it. So a bit about what we're doing, um, the grass that you can see getting cut behind me going up the forager will be getting carted back to the yard and going into the clamp. Um, in the clamp it's getting rolled and then it's going to get a cover over the top and it's going to be left to ferment till sort of Christmas time, winter time when the cows come in. Um, they should be in before Christmas. Um, and that this will be their food throughout the time they're inside and then when they go back out obviously they'll be in the grass again. Um, so yeah, the silage, the silage we're making is more dry matter. We just find it works better for what we're doing. So basically, we're getting it cut with the mower. We'll then come with the tedder. We ted all as grass. Um, and then obviously row it up and then it goes through the forager. Well, looking from here, that trailer is starting to look full now. Uh, normally it sticks his beacon on when it's um, when it's full and it needs emptying. They do that a lot in um, combining as well. The uh, beacon goes on. And it's sort of a, uh, a way of saying, look, I need, I need em 